And you can see one of those uh, search and recovery helicopters. Once again, uh, that uh, helicopter part of a dozen such Russian Mi-8 helicopters. Touchdown, 3.14 and 48 seconds a.m. Central Time. You saw the soft landing engines fire just a split second before the Soyuz uh, hit the ground southeast of Jezkazgan, a bullseye touchdown. Landing once again at 3.14 and 48 seconds Central Time, 2.14 and 48 seconds p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. The Expedition 31 crew, Oleg Kononenko, Don Pettit, Andrei Kuipers, home after 193 days in space. And uh, you can see, although uh, somewhat obscured by uh, the horde of uh, people around the spacecraft, uh, Oleg Kononenko, the Soyuz commander, is now out of the top hatch. His extraction coming uh, in uh, very, very swift fashion, just about uh, 20 minutes after uh, the touchdown, there is Kononenko placed in the uh, center seat. He will be flanked by Pettit and Kuipers as soon as they are extracted. And uh, European Space Agency uh, flight engineer Andre Kuipers now out of the uh, Soyuz vehicle, so the reversed order of what is normally the extraction process of the crew. Kuipers uh, being helped down that slide uh, and will be carried now to that uh, reclining chair. Kuipers uh, back on Earth, his second flight in the books, 204 days in space on two missions for Andre Kuipers. Kononenko, uh, that you see on the left-hand side of your screen, uh, now has completed 392 days in space on his two flights. Kononenko uh, flew four years ago as part of Expedition 17 and now is tied for 14th place on the all-time list for space endurance. And last but not least, Don Pettit, NASA flight engineer who uh, has just completed his second landing in a Soyuz vehicle and his third flight. Pettit uh, wrapping up 370 days in space, now fourth on the all-time list of U.S. astronauts behind Mike Fink, Peggy Whitson, and Mike Fole.